Yo, what's up, sexy Samalander squad? It is Try Hard Thursday, so we got an hour long video. Go ahead, already like, comment, and subscribe because you know this hour long video is gonna be fucking sick. I'm gonna be try harding, less commentary, more gameplay, and um, this is what we're gonna do. That's how we do it. Some GM try harding. Kind of shit that you don't see that often. Um,. I could play Kronos. I could play Goddess of Demonetization, which I'm kind of feeling, honestly. Because uh, she's pretty great right now. I got Set Diamond yesterday, which is sick, but he banned Set, and I'm not going to play Set because I play him too much. Um, hmm. I could play Medusa, actually. I really like Medusa. Hey babe, pick one. On her, Goddess of Demonetization, Medusa or Kronos. Are you feeling more of a mage or an ADC? Uh, I two of either, so I don't care. You gotta be quick. Uh, demonetization. Okay. For queen and country. Let's see it. You did want to get better got. with her. Don't get demonetized. Well, I doubt that I'll be demonetized. <laughs> All right. Weird pick, but out-of-the-box stuff has worked before for some people. Like, I lost against a uh, Mercury with Set, so anything could happen, really. I think I get Aegis, right? Or, oh, dude, I get Blink. I definitely get Blink. If I can Blink, Silence, Alt, 2, 1, Explode the Alt, he has to either Aegis or Bracer. There's no way he lives through that. I will say it kind of sucks because I want to have Bracer or Med or Shell or anything for the super early game, so it's probably got to go a little bit later than I would like it to go, but that's all right. He does have Aegis. He's going book. Have <laughs> Chunked him. 118. What up? Oh, hit him with that one. Oh, my boy. My boy. Look at the no amount of HP my boy has. It's sad, but it happens. I think I'm gonna go for him right now rather than the red buff because I don't think I could take the red buff over him anyways. I wish that hit him, that would have been real cool. Um he does have a heal. But he just wasted it. I mean it's technically not a waste because it was still on him, but get the Aegis. Get the AoE auto. <gasps> the AoE auto. If they only had more catch up mechanics. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm blind? Okay. Definitely dirtier than it should have been, but that's alright. We still got it and that's what matters. <sighs> and he has no Aegis for the alt combo that we're gonna fucking obliterate him with. This is gonna be a fiver. If I can get the second kill, he's gonna he's probably gonna surrender a five. If I miss, you know, if I blink and I miss the the silence or the two or something, then he probably won't surrender, but we'll see. Mm, blue. Oh, that, that was a literal perfect execution on what I wanted to do. And I actually would prefer a blue buff instead of a red, because I do enough damage. I don't have enough mana, so there we go. Wait here for the minions to group up so I don't fuck them up. My clear. You don't need Oh my god, he took so much damage. He doesn't have Bancrofts. Stay 
Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I hit him with the silence, so he couldn't heal you. Did just had to juke for a little bit. The silence got so ridiculously buffed. It's so stupid. The goddess of demonetization, straight up, is like she's insane, and I hate playing against her. So in actuality, if I want to keep it that way, I should delete the video. But you guys have a right to know. You have a right to know how good she is. In about seven seconds, I will get another kill. Oh, yikes. What if I just sit here like this? And I just. What if I just box you? Okay. So, this is definitely a fiver. I mean, I have four kills in three and a half minutes, so. Get that, just go for Chronos Pen and get back out there. Starting book, I don't think is bad, honestly, as long as you get Bancroft's after book and skip out on boots. Um, but you also have to play really passive, and this boy is not doing that. I'll be amazed if he doesn't surrender. The testicular fortitude on this boy if he doesn't surrender. I'm dead, fuck. Stay back. Where are you? Your spirit is the truth. Damn it. I saw him though. Oh. Okay. <laughs> He hasn't surrendered yet. It's 5 minutes and 11 seconds in. Oh my gosh. I can't believe it. I have enough mana now. I don't need to actually pick up blue buffs anymore. I could go for red buffs now. Oof, he's not even going Bancrofts right now. I mean, I guess it's alright because like he's raw, so I'm going to get anti-heal anyways, but... So much power so early. Maybe he doesn't know he can surrender before 10. A lot of people don't know that still for whatever reason. They just don't play duel or they never surrender anyways, so. Yikes. I'm really surprised he didn't go for the yellow wall. Because I absolutely would have. He just altered the wave. Okay. So far, the first game is pretty easy. Not necessarily try hard at all. Go through. Zone him out so he doesn't get any XP. He can't do anything to me. Just stay back. Yep, yep, yep. Fuck off. I will kill you. You get no XP. Alright, wave number two. How many waves are you gonna miss before you surrender the game, boy? Oh, that 
that's a big old fucking mistake right there. I don't even think he got a wave. I think he ran past me when there was no wave, so it was literally irrelevant. Let's go get our Kronos Pendant. And then, I mean, I'm gonna go get Gem and probably, like, Bracer. I guess, let's not, uh, I never get Bracer second relic, and to be honest, I don't condone it, because if you have any amount of healing in your kit, which you should, because it makes your god good in duel, um, <clears throat> I could wait for red, actually. If you have any amount of healing in your kit, then... They're already going to get anti-heal, so there's no reason for you to get Bracer, ever. But, uh, I'm going to do it because he's not in any position to get anti-heal right now. Okay. Oh, you got his blue buff. Let's go get Bull Demon. I could very easily lose Bull Demon or my life right here. So keep that in mind. But I'm pretty sure I will not. Alright, well, he did ult it. But, uh, I got it. He's very quick. My oh, boy's fast as fuck. Oh my god, I do so much damage though. Okay, let's help my wave out a little bit. Help my wave push out. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna get the wave or the phoenix. Again, what I did basically before when uh, I didn't let him clear my wave, that's what I'm gonna do now. Yeah, just push him off so I can get the phoenix. Well, that was not a great play. So we're at 10 minutes now, we're 8 now, and he still hasn't surrendered. Okay. I mean... Sometimes it's like this. Sometimes it's like it. You wanna step into my alt? No. That's really hoping you did want to. Cool. Alright, now we are at 9 kills in 11 minutes, well, 10.50, Do a little bit more damage. Can I just win here or will this guy beat my ass? Alright, first game down, 5 levels up, 11 minutes in, 9 kills down, let's do it. That is a massive plus zero MMR. Play again. First one of the day. I got plus four MMR for that. All right. How much damage did you do to me? Actually, more than I thought. Four K. I don't like the uh, winning screens. So, dude, I have 43 days of boosters. I think my entire account at this point is just fucking boosted. Oh, let's put on some stuff. Um, loading screen. Should we be edge lords? Yeah. All right, let's be edge lords. I don't care about pedestal at all. Jump stamp skull. Yeah, that's edgy. Oh, this is edgy. Dude, we're just getting edgy. Oh, edgy. Oh, well, I can't. Oh my god, it's a thousand gems. 600 gems, Jesus Christ. Alright, what's the edgy one here that I have? This one looks kind of edgy. Oh, this one. This one? Okay. Um, default, I don't have a music on. I hate HUDs. Fountain skin. I think this probably is the most edgy. This one? 
Confetti? Confetti's not edgy. Alright, let's see what we got this time. Kali ban. Bakasura ban. I think I knew who fought this guy. <laughs> There's this one guy named Average Mahone. Who I didn't know played anymore, but those are the only two gods that he does play. Um, I guess I should ban Set. Just to keep myself away from him, honestly. Loki ban, huh? I haven't seen that. In... I haven't been called that name in years. Baron? Maybe? No, I want to play on her. Let's play on her. On her. I have a platinum border on her. That's sick. I mean, we might as well pop some XP and some favor boosters. Oh, you can just double click them now? Oh my god. High res, you've outdone yourself. Alright. Oh, everyone asked me, by the way, why I use the Olympian on her skin when there's like so much better ones like Stargazer and shit like that. Um, it's because it's the oldest on her skin in the game. And on her is already one of the oldest gods in the game. So it's kind of like a kind of like a throwback, I guess. And I like it. On her mirror. This is the epitome of skill. Defone. Right. Here we see who is the better on her player. I always go or go multi pots instead of mana pots. But I think on on her just because he's so fucking incredibly mana hungry. I'm gonna go multi or mana pots. I can't speak. This is a good thing it's try hard Thursday and I don't have to speak. He's in the box box clan. Whatever that means. Maybe it's like Wally. Who knows? All I know is oh my god, it's come back Saturday. All I know is um don't jump first or you die. Um if you jump first, you better have your alt up. Um Bracer is not very good, but I got it anyways for the early game, because in mirrors, if you don't snowball, you lose the game. And Blackthorn is really OP, but so is Transcendence. So I'm going to go for Transcendence route, and I always lose the game when I go for Transcendence. But I'm going to play a little bit more passive than I normally do to kind of like, I guess, remind me of the fact that I don't have an extra 400 health with Blackthorn. <clears throat> so those are the strats dude it is scumbag saturday the full one minute pause did he message me no he didn't okay he's pulling on my stream seeing if i'm at red buff i'm gonna jump first it's a sin i know i'm doing it surprise I wish auto attacks were easier for me to hit. I wish. Never mind. I actually just fucked him up so hard. I fought one of each pot. He went. Oh, he went Hunter's Blessing. That shit's wacky, dude. Jump on the minions. I don't even give a fuck about jumping on him. Weird. Oh. Okay, we got his bracer. Use one of each again. Right now, it's just the early game, man. Just the early game. Okay. First blood. Let's go get red buff. I guess he didn't think it would do that much damage. I mean, in his defense, on her does surprise me with how much damage his two does all the time. And I have like 10,000 hours in this fucking mode, so. Um, he's dead as fuck, right? 
Because he's not level 5 and I am, and he doesn't have Bracer and I do. Do 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 Yeah, okay. Perfect. So far, so perfect. Um, I'm gonna go attack speed boots. I don't like. I don't like attack speed boots, and I know they're so good. And like, you should get them on pretty much everyone because as 25% attack speed now, and you're all you're losing out on 20 power for 25% attack speed. That's obviously gonna be worth it. But I don't like them because. I like chunking, you know? I don't want a 10 hour fight, I want a 3 second fight where I just chunk the shit out of him, you know? Well, I suck. I guess I do have red buff though right now, anyways. Shouldn't have jumped, it worked out anyways. I don't think this guy plays on her mirrors that much. This might be a fiver. Pretty good so far, pretty good. Oh my god, he did his blue buff. That hooligan. He has his ult. Also, he's backing. <clears throat> he's not backing? Okay, here's what I want. I want to jump. Miss the jump. I didn't miss the jump. I want him to jump on me. Then I ult. And then he dies. Okay. I didn't even want to hit my jump, by the way. That was just... Lucky, I guess. I just wanted to jump so that he could see that my jump is down. So that he would get aggressive and jump on me. Because, you know, you know you can jump on someone and stun them into the wall pretty easily. Um, when he gets in the air, I ult, become CC immune. He lands. He gets fucking clapped by my damage. Because oh, I'm fucking a trillion and a half levels above him. Um... Also, I haven't, like, missed anything this game, so. I wonder if I can get him to jump. Yep. Oh. That was actually such a great play by me, but I missed the two, like a fucking nerd. That's one way you can counterplay the jump on your jump with on her is if you just jump straight up into the air and then they jump straight up in the air and you already outbox them oh my god see you dude that's five kills in four minutes let's go get red buff and transcendence Also, I guess I should mention, you shouldn't expect the best play out of my opponents right now because I'm pretty sure most of the high level, most of the high level players right now are playing World of Warcraft because Classic just came out and everybody is playing that shit. So I don't expect a lot of people, like GM level people, to be online right now. But um, you know, if we get a game like that, it'd be sick. Not a fiver, huh? Nobody wants to give up the fivers today. I think I three hit him. <laughs> that was two autos, man. What the fuck? Minions take so long to get here. Okay. So that was perfect. How do you not surrender after that? Oh shit. Okay. Get the Phoenix. Why? There you go. I was gonna say, why didn't he... One, why didn't he surrender? I have more kills than minutes in the game. 
That's crazy. Second, why did he stun me and not just fucking alt me? That's like the easiest guaranteed kill of his life. But I guess he didn't think he needed it. I don't know. Plus three MMR? I'm getting MMR from these games. It's crazy. It's crazy. Okay, um, back to edgy. Default theme, random fountain skin. You want a confetti? This is more edgy though, but we'll be confetti. Huh? Okay. Level up. What's the edgiest level up? I feel like this or this. Like Dragon Ball Z, Going Super Saiyan, or Lit on Fire. Like those are the two edginess. This is kind of like a dance club. It's not that edgy. What do you think? Lit on Fire or Super Saiyan? Rainbow. All right. Um, death Mark. I don't die. Don't need one of those. Uh, title. Spoopy. <laughs> Perfect. Spoopy Sam, dude. All right. My loading frame. What the fuck are these? Diamond Conquest. Diamond Joust. Master's Duel. Gladiator Master's Duel. I don't... I've never seen that before. What is this? I got my Season 1 Masters. My Season 2 Masters. Oh, no, that's Grand Masters. So that must be Season 3. Season 4. No, that's Joust. Oh, this is Season 1. No, this is Season 1. This is Season 2. This is Season 3. I don't know where Season 4 is. I, it must be this, but I was GM, so I don't... I don't know. Whatever. And then Season 5 is the one I'm wearing, because they haven't given out Season 6 yet, because we're in Season 6. Oh, it's the same dude. Should we on here mirror him again? No. <laughs> um... I could go Apollo. I haven't played Apollo in very long, and he did get buffed where his one gives you a stack of his passive if it hits. And his alt instant stacks his passive when he lands. So he could play Apollo. He did get pretty heftily buffed. He could also whip out the Medusa. I'm feeling the Medusa. <laughs> All right, let's play Medusa. Let's explore the world above. I wonder if I got a diamond border on her after after last game. I'm really, I'm, I'm really upset that I had a fucking platinum border one. Vulcan's not bad, I think. This matchup, he plays his turret. I two his turret. It hits him, kills his turret. Unless he maxes it, in which case I'm fucked. Same dude. Let's not all be an enemy. I want to go trans again, because I I need the the damage to kill turret. And I think I'm going to go Bracer. Hear me out. Normally, Aegis is like the play versus Vulcan. Because you don't want to get clapped by his ult. But I think... I'm an idiot, first off. I should have used my 1 and my 3 in the base so that I had mana. Um, <clears throat> I think that... I can dash his meatball and be knock-up immune because I'm knock-up immune during my dash. I don't know if you're supposed to be because it doesn't say it. But you are. Um, if he gets too close, it's easy. There's that turret too I was talking about. My boy is being aggressive. He does have more pots than me, so I guess he can kind of afford it, but he doesn't have- He has one more, and it's a mana pot, so... Can't be that much more aggressive than me. I think he put two points in that turret, actually. He doesn't have meatball. If he does, he's holding it like it's his newborn. It would make sense that he put two points in the turret, though, because it did live through two autos. He normally kills the turret. 
Why are you, like, standing in line? Yeah, he did just get me ball. Uh, he has more pots than me right now. He could get a red buff for me this game, actually. Ouch. Alright. I two hit him, and he used so much mana trying to poke me there. He's going for me instead of the wave, which is highly not a good play. Alright. Uh, I guess we'll just rush trans. I don't really want to, but it's whatever. We got first blood. I was gonna, if that auto missed, I was gonna brace her and use my ult to get the kill. But, um, but I hit the auto, so we're good in the zone right now. The first game was probably my worst game, but it normally is because I have a really hard time in my first game, no matter what, because I just, like, I just woke up, you know, I'm so rusty at the game. I have to get acclimated again. Hello. What if I just call up you? Okay. Let's go get Transcendence. I hope you guys like these videos. I know that it, this is probably the least competitive tryhard Thursday. But you gotta remember that you're not always gonna get super competitive games. You're just gonna get me in like a tryhard state, you know, doing normal builds and playing based off statistics rather than memes, you know. And let's be honest, we all know I play off memes pretty hard. Oof. Okay, will you die to that? They have cooldown boots. Makes it a little bit tough to get to him right now because I want transcendence. Oof. Place turret, thank you. Oh, I missed the auto. That was perfect case scenario for me too. He did his blue but doesn't have it on him. Be back? We oh, did, okay. See if we can do anything here. My boy checked it. Oh, damn it. So little HP. See ya. Oh, what? So close. He's got boots, boys. Oh, the minions. The minions just... Oh my god, I took 600 damage from the minions. No! Holy shit! I took... I took 300 from those dudes. I took 700 from archers and 600 from... Uh, Thick Daddy Siege Boy. Oh my god. I juked all of his ability. I got smacked by a large club for 88 damage to die. How pathetic. My two doesn't clear wave yet. That's also pathetic. He's going boots, breastplate. That's like the perfect build. Okay. I missed my two, but he also had already used all of his abilities. And my two clears now. Let's see, will he ult this? Oh my god, did you guys see those minions? <laughs> Holy fuck. Give me that extra stack off your turret, I appreciate it. If I hit him, I do so much damage. 
But again, like if he hits me, he does so much too. I'm gonna back. I need boots. You cool with it? Alright, sweet. Again, like attack speed is so good right now, but I just like power, man. And attack speed is even better on my dude. He just altered the wave. Meanwhile, I still have four minions out of my six. Does that kill turret? It does, perfect. Um, do I let him back? No. I do not, is the answer. Alright, if he backs now, I can take his tower probably. Alright, stopping backs isn't just douchey. It, uh, there is gameplay changes that you can do with it. Seems good. Got the tower because we were able to stop his back. I, I mean, I might as well, right? I don't know if I can get the next red. You could always alt it. Um, I don't have enough for anything else. He has max cooldown now because he's only one stack away from his mages. So, and doing Bold Demon is tough for me. I gotta like teeter on that edge of if I'm actually allowed to, you know. Well, that was three auto attacks and a two. I guess let's try it. He's busy with that wave. I'm gonna pull it right here, obviously. I don't wanna give him it. Alright. Aussie, I think, is the better play here, but I wanna go for the win faster, so I'm gonna go for Executioner. Aussie's probably the better play because, um,. You know, I can sustain back up after I get poked out because he has further range than me. But at the same time, if I can get close, Executioner will... I mean, it's called Executioner for a fucking reason, right? I'm going to be able to kill him so much quicker. I just want to get my minions in there. Uses one. Uses just two. Uses one. Uses three. Uses beads. And I don't want to fuck with him. I got minions in, and which means I have permanent minion uh, reduction on the tower right now. So I'm just gonna smack him until I win. I could blink on him right now. Oh, fuck. Nice. Those are some clean autos right there. Should be the game, but I don't know how fast I can kill Titan. I also don't have fire minions right now, so maybe it's not the game yet. He played much better on this god than he did any on him, or gotta give it to him. Can win. I just gotta be a little bit safe and not get poked out by his abilities right now. Because I can always just do this. Yeah. Alright, GG. He used all of his abilities to try to clear my wave, so he had no way to peel me off. 
He should have, like, if I was him, I would have used my one on the wave, but I would have saved my three because the dash in, I might, like, the time at 200 health, right? There's no way that I wasn't going to go for it. So he dashed in, or I dashed in. If he saved Meatball, he could have placed the Meatball where my dash ended and then placed turret in front of the Titan. So my ult would have hit the Titan, but it'd still have 100 HP. And uh, he could have body blocked the autos. He probably still would have died. I don't think there's anything he could have done to actually win the game there. But uh, he might have been able to at least get that kill on me there. And save the Titan for like an extra minute. I do like his build though. It's a, it's a worse early game build. But it's safer in the long run. Like in the mid game and the late game. Because you have that max cooldown online as fast as possible. Um, he did a lot of damage to me. More than when he was on her, though, that's for sure. Alright. I want to check my set record. I played him a lot yesterday, and I don't know what it is. 94 and 9. Pretty good. 91%. Oh man, this one was a this was a feels bad. This was a Captain Twig. He got first blood on me and just fucking rolled me after that. I think I am number one still though. Yeah I am. 74 and 6. Not bad. Set is definitely the god I have the most fun with right now in the game. Just because, like, teleporting everywhere and having your I'm gonna kill you button is so satisfying. Like, Kronos has an I'm gonna kill you button with his two, but they removed the movement speed off the rings and the two. Well, they didn't remove it, but they lowered it. Um,. So his I'm going to kill you button is more like a snail running at you with a knife. If he gets to you, it's going to fucking hurt. But he's not going to get to you, you know? <laughs> like You just run away from him now. Anubis has an I'm going to kill you button. I haven't played him that much recently. It says with 6,000 worshippers on it. I also haven't played Poseidon like at all this season. 6,500 on him. I gotta check my worshippers after this game. Make it a 17 minute game. And then we'll check the worshippers and then end the game. End the recording, not the game. Okay, you gonna take my ban like that, I see you. You really gonna take my next ban too? Alright, fine. Hmm. I, I dare you. I dare you. Take my ban. I dare you. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't think I need to ban Kronos anymore. He got nerfed real hard with the, the ring changes. Oh, he thinks he needs to ban Kronos still. I'll ban... I don't know. Like, oh yeah, I guess. I don't want to play him, so... Could play Vulcan. Oh, I should have banned Hell. That was a good ban. I respect that. We could play Hera. Hera got buffed, didn't she? Her 2 does 20, 20 more damage at rank 1. and Well, 20 more damage at all ranks, but it's more important on rank 1. And I think Argus got a buff, too. Could play Hera. What have I played? I've played... Something on her. What was the first one? Uh, demonetization on her and um, Medusa. So I have two hunters and one mage. I could even it out two mages, two hunters. Go Vulcan. Teach that guy how to play Vulcan. We could go Zonger Donger actually. I haven't played him in a hot minute. Let's go Zong. John Quick. Oh, I'm real. Ooh. Right. And I'm back. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh. I'm glad I'm not Vulcan, at least. 
Bardock. I know this guy. <clears throat> One of each. Uh, like this, like this. Probably? Like, my second relic... Obviously, it's going to be upgraded Cursed Donk, but I think the first one is probably Magic Shell. I wonder if he's going to first item Toxic Blade. Uh, that's what I would do if I was him. First item Beat Stick, probably, instead of Toxic Blade, actually. You can't confirm the autos this early. Also, I would go... If I was him, I'd go Warrior's Blessing... First item, B-Stick. Second item, uh, Blackthorn. And then I would go Boots. And then I would get, like, you know, the normal shit, like Xe and Fatalis and stuff like that. He's a little late to lane. Oh my god, he's going Rune Shield. Lord help me. I do the big old no fucking damage to him. the early game pretty hard because of runic shield also because Lumana. got no mana he doesn't either though he's actually lower than i am all right bring him back here i think it's safe i'm just gonna get one mana pot and half my mana and i'm gonna run out right now though See if I can maybe get to that red buff before he does. If he waits, um, like if he doesn't get tier 1 boots, or tier 2 boots or whatever, and he waits for full mana and HP, then we should be okay to get it. But I guess it's like a risk still. Yeah, he waited for full health, we're good. Alright, let's go get our... Bancrofts, our HP pot, because we will absolutely need one. Move for his blue buff. You can tell by the gold difference right now. My blue buff is still up, and I would like it if he didn't take it, but it seems like he wants to take it. Alright, he wants to go for those minis. Is there any way I can make you not have those? Oh, he just used all of his abilities. I should have ulted there, probably. I should have fought him. I don't think I could kill him, but I would have at least forced his ult. Um, he has to miss this whole wave of XP now. That's really good. That's really good for me. Okay. I'm gonna sell my health pot, get tier 2 boots. Go to my blue buff. by a little bit. Got Ansile instead of Runic? My man's insane. I'm not scared of you anymore. You should have got Runic, man. I'm gonna tank these because I have gold Bancrofts and my heal is gonna be insane anyways and I want all the gold. What the fuck? 
Yes, technically I don't have alt, so like, what's he afraid of? Because he does have alt. Okay. I mean... Okay. <laughs> I mean, why, though? It's not like he took the XP away from me or anything. If he made that play, and somehow made it so I didn't get this wave of XP, totally fine. But all he did with that play is waste his ult. Like a phoenix shot too. Hmm. I don't understand, but I guess I don't have to. Getting those minis right now, I hear him. You going to go proxy again, or nah? You done with that life? Back in right there. Alright, I'm gonna get right buff. Let's see if we can get his blue. I do a pretty decent amount of damage to him. Definitely like noteworthy. Does he have ult though? He does. I can't fight him through his ult. I think I can. Maybe? I don't know. I'm kind of smacking him. Can I catch up to him? That one hit, he was so dead. That's unfortunate. That's all right. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna go divine. Rustplate is really good, but if I just go divine right now, then I don't have to worry about it anymore, you know. And it might just lead to an earlier kill, which could be really, really good. Oh man, I thought I'd stun him. Does he have more cooldown than me? He does have blue buff and ansile. I would assume it's a yes. So this kills? Can you lazy back for me please? Am I gonna go Contagion? No, I'm not. We do some tower damage here, I don't know. It's a rough matchup. It's definitely more a late game for me than it is for him. Mine's all about like poking him right now and seeing if I can annoy the fuck out of him. Oh, there's that. I should be okay. Once the slow wears off, yeah. Oh, my, how did my two not hit, dude? That was so perfect. Not gonna hit me. I have enough mana for a 1 2 or a 3 2. If I had Divine right there, I would have killed him under my tower. Unlucky I couldn't back yet. Our divine. He's going beat stick right now, which is the correct play. Uh, all right, now if he alts me and dives me like he just did, like he just made that play, I have ninety percent anti heal for his ult, as opposed to the zero percent I had thirty seconds ago. So it's pretty fucking huge. He is getting ahead of me in XP though. Because he keeps getting those, uh, 
those side camps. Which give 150 XP if you get both. Um, he's backing after every wave. He has thorns. It's a good play. Good play. Reflex is magical damage, and I am clearly not going to get magical defense, so. Okay. Uh, I think I win this fight. Yeah. I shouldn't have shelled. There was no reason to shell. I was just a little scared that he was going to, like, smack the fuck out of me, but I should have known. I should have known. It's a misplay to shell there, but overall it's okay. I don't want him to steal my blue again, so instead of doing probably three autos of tower damage, I'm just gonna go get my blue. It is mine. Mine. Actually, with the blue buff, I can stay for an extra wave and get my breastplate on like a full breastplate next back, which will be insane. What are my autos doing to you right now? 54, 26, not bad. All right, no problem there at all. Wait for this beat stick. Let's get those minis again, that's fine. I'm gonna go get my breastplate. He went to go proxy my wave, but he missed a minion. You're Got me. Pretty sure I did way more damage than you did to me, though. Alright, let's get red buff. All about farming right now. This video is going to be well over an hour, by the way. This is actually a pretty tough game. The last games of Try Hard Thursdays are always the toughest. Correct that answer. Got more defense? Yeah, he did. So next item. Honestly, Obsidian Shard. Spear's really good, but he's going to stack defense so high this game that... Might as well be off shard. Fuck that shit. You better fucking run, dude. should come up soon. It really sucks to have the back here. Actually... Oh. The Ansile. Do I have to back here? He has no ult. I'll have my ult much before him. Running the other way. He has no one right now. He sprinted, but I caught him with the long stun. And dead. Nice. Okay. Pretty glad I didn't have the back there. And we should be able to get our full ob shard after we drop this blue back. Obsidian. Okay. How much defense does he have right now? 189. Opshard's worth it for sure. The cap's at 200. But. 
Maybe he's doing Bull Demon right now. It wouldn't be a bad play at all, actually. It'd be really, it'd be really smart. But he's not. Gonna catch his dash. One. Ride him out. He's my two. You really fucking want this, dude? Fuck out of here. I can dive him here and kill him really easily. Here we go. We get the tower down. Pushed him out. I'll get full health off this minion wave again. And then we go get our red buff. He's going katana right now. That shit's gonna hurt when he finishes that. Oh, I caught his dash. He doesn't have alt up. I don't know if it'll do anything. Almost. Turn on me. Yeah. Really hoping he'd get a little dumb with it and turn on me. Go, 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 get gem. How much health does he have? 2100. That's actually a lot. Um, instead of gem, I could get ethereal, honestly. And I could just kill him like that. Going around to proxy my next wave. Okay, he backed. I would love to do bull demon, but I feel like I don't have the, the burst over him. He just three one twos while I'm in the air and I'm like fucking dead, you know? Well, I wish that hit him. Fucking Ansile proc. Wish that hit him. At least that hit him, you know? <laughs> My two didn't kill them anymore. A fucking huge waste of an ult. Not that it matters too much, but it's annoying. I think I am gonna go Ethereal. 2270 or 20. Yeah, I mean he has 2261 health right now. I could go Soul Reaver too, but I'm not sure. I don't know if it's worth it. Ah, fuck. Oh my gosh. Keep missing the one. I'm like choking up right now. He definitely has trouble fighting me. I mean, his build is all about movement, it seems like. He's got Talaria boots and bead stick to stop my healing, and Sile to stop my two, I guess, my two combo. But nothing to actually help him fight. The. The Fatalis is going to be the first thing that actually helps him fight, and it might actually just be enough. I'm not picking this up, I just want to do it, because I can, I guess. Yeah. He thinks it's enough, too. Who's that? Can I catch him? No, I cannot. Will I be able to get Phoenix? Actually, maybe. You have double autos and a lot of power. Oh, he always sprinted out of base to do that to stop me. All right. See you later. I will go ahead and catch my full HP heal off this. Might as well do it and pick it up. Why not, you know? Fucking get the Phoenix. 
I think I caught his dash there. No, I did not. You really want to fucking do this, little boy. You think this is in your best interest? Alright, so his mistake this game was playing way too much on like particulars, like anti-heal with his breastplate and his pestilence, rather than just going straight up for like a toxic blade, haste and katana executioner and just run me down, because that would have worked much better than this weird like combo out tank you while you alt thing with thorns, you know? I don't know. Um, if you guys enjoyed the video... Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, until next time, guys, peace.